and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual £1 million. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Great, you're having a go at the entertainment questions. Fifteen of them stand between you and a virtual million pounds. The first five of those questions can bank you a guaranteed thousand pounds. Let's kick things off with a one hundred pound question. A good start, that's the right answer. A nice easy question for two hundred pounds. That's the right answer for £200. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. OK, you want to use your 50-50 lifeline. Computer, can you take away two wrong answers for us, please? Well done, you picked the right one of the two answers and had £300. OK, question number four coming up. You still have two lifelines if you need them. You seem pretty sure that that was the right answer. And rightly so, it is. Well done. This is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. You had 500 pounds. You now have 1,000 pounds. It's the right answer. Well, that was nice and easy. You've guaranteed you won't be leaving with nothing. In fact, you've won 1,000 pounds. But surely you want more than that. Take a look at the next question. It's worth 2,000 pounds. Just won £2,000. It was the right answer. Things are going really well. You can double your 2000 here to 4000 Now, don't forget a wrong answer and you'll drop back to £1,000. Lots of luck. Here comes question number seven. And remember, you can still use 50-50 and phone a friend. You'll lose £1,000 if you get this wrong. Are you sure you want to play this? Very well done. That's the right answer. You've just won £4,000. Well, you're making very good progress, and you're now just three questions away from securing yourself a guaranteed £32,000. The first of those questions is worth £8,000. However, you would lose £3,000 if you gave me the wrong answer. You had £4,000, you now have £8,000. Very well played. OK, things are getting a little bit more serious now. £16,000 is a lot of money. And that's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to 7000 
So think carefully before you give me an answer. Aha! Audience, time for you to get involved and help win us a bit of cash. Have a look at the question and vote A, B, C or D on your keypads or vote now. Now that's a pretty resounding A from the audience there. Are you happy to trust them? Okay, that is your final answer. And it's the right answer. You just won £16,000. Okay, let's pause for breath. You have £16,000. Get this next question wrong and you will lose 15000 of that and leave us with just 1,000. However, get the question right, and you'll be guaranteeing yourself 32,000 pounds. You can use your only remaining lifeline, your phone a friend, if you don't know the answer. Lots of luck. Here comes that question. Well, you risk £15,000 on this question. Will you regret it? I doubt it. You've given me the right answer and it's worth £32,000. So, you must be feeling pretty pleased with yourself and rightly so. £32,000 is now the very least amount you'll be leaving the game with. We'd love you to turn that into £64,000 thousand pounds. You can do that by giving me the correct answer to this next question. You still have one lifeline available should you need it. Lots of luck, here it comes. Well you had thirty two thousand pounds. You now have sixty four thousand pounds. What a performance this is turning out to be brilliant. Right, things are going really well. Amazing how quickly you can turn 32,000 into 64. But let's just calm down a bit. The next question is worth £125,000. A huge amount of money. You do not have to play this question. But you've still got a phone a friend lifeline available should you need it. Here we go. The very best of luck. It's not often people get to play this question. You could be about to lose £32,000. Or of course you could be about to win £125,000. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well played. Did you really think when you started out that you get to the point where I would be asking you a question for £250,000? Probably not, but it is about to happen. Please, please do not give me a wrong answer and phone a friend if you aren't totally sure of your answer. Let's see what happens as we look at question number 12. Right, this is serious business. You've just decided to play on a question for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. It's the right answer. You are a quarter of a millionaire. Well, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual cheque for £500,000. But only if you can answer this next question. Am 
must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You had £250,000. You now have £500,000. Fantastic! Well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their lifelines, but you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure you know the answer. Let's hope in just a few moments time, we will all be celebrating. Here comes your 15th and final question. In 1968, the first of these theme parks was built in which country? France, Denmark, Spain, Austria. Well, I don't blame you for using a lifeline if you're not sure. Pick one of your friends and we'll give them a call. What is that? Surely no one you could have wrong would know that. I'd use another lifeline if you have any left. Well, that was no help at all, was it? Are you going to have a guess? And I have to check that you are really going to play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner. Fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?